thôi So I'm here today to talk about um, the alternatives to self-harming um, physically and how to physically let them out without hurting yourself. Um, these are only suggestions, things that I've tried or other people I know have tried and they've worked for them or they've not worked for them but they think they might work for someone else. Um, they aren't surefire ways to stop you feeling like you feel but hopefully some of them can be useful and um, may work for you. Okay, so letting it out physically, scream, shout, let everything out vocally and this can help you to not want to hurt yourself because you let the emotions out in a different way. You can hit a cushion or punch a bag, just anything that isn't physically hurting you because punching a wall while really satisfying can cause damage to your knuckles and it can hurt and that can be why some people do it. Um, you can smash a watermelon, this one's really fun, if you get a watermelon and you just smash it up, you punch it, you kick it, it is messy and fun, <laughs> I really enjoyed that one. Um, you can try kicking a football really hard against a wall, that might work for you. Um, you can try squeezing a stress ball, they are made for that, that's what they're made for. You can try squeezing ice really hard, and ice is really good for me because personally I feel as if it's hurting that's the point of it it feels mildly painful and then that takes away my need to self-harm you can also um get an elastic band on your wrist mine's over there and um it, it helps if you're anxious to ping you back to the moment so you flick it and it sort of is a signal for you to come back to the present because a lot of people with anxiety worry about the future or they worry about the past or they worry about a lot of things and and flicking a an elastic band on your wrist can really help to draw you back to the present without hurting yourself. But be careful with this one because what it can do is become a self-destructive behaviour because you think that it's the only way you can you can relieve the pain is by pinging it and then you ping it too hard and it hurts you and that's not good. So um, you can tear up a newspaper or a phone directory or just cut up like some old clothes or or yeah basically just destroy stuff it's really fun and it helps get all the anger and upset and it gets all of that out um play loud music play loud music and dance around energetically because one of the things that one of the things that really helps is when you just be physical in the moment and dance around or or do something. If you're looking for a song to dance around to, Recovery by Frank Turner is always a really, really good place to start because it has a positive message behind it saying that you can get there even though it's tough and it's really high energy and it's good to dance to. Similarly, if you're good at dance or you enjoy choreography, then go and choreograph something that explains how you feel because that's a big part of it, is, is getting your feelings out instead of bottling them up and finding the only way that you can express them is through hurting yourself. Um, you can draw on the place you want to cut with red marker or fake blood or um, red food colouring. This is also really good because it makes you feel like you're doing it even though you're not so it doesn't, it feels like you have done it so the urge usually goes away after that. And another thing I've tried is drawing on myself because it helps affirm the feeling that I'm a work of art, that like my body is no different than anybody else's and hurting it is counterproductive and not useful and that's the same for you. So, and then the last one is spend some energy, go for a walk or a run because those same endorphins that are released when we self-harm are the same endorphins that are released when we do exercise. So even though it sounds terrible, give it a go. Um, I really hope these have helped you. You do not deserve to be in any kind of pain and even if you think you aren't enough, you are enough. You are a person and you deserve the same as every single other person on the planet. It's your right. Um, and and self-harming sort of affirms the feeling that you're not good enough, that, that you aren't that you aren't the same as anyone else and, you, and you're not valued the same and that's just not true because you really do mean a lot and even if you don't think you're important, you are.